Welcome class. I hope you are okay taking care of you and your family at home. Remember to wash your hands and if you have to go out for your safety and hours, wear a mask to cover your mouth and nose. Hello, I am Margie Garcia and I am going to be your teacher in this class. Today, we are going to learn and talk about nouns, singular and plural. Let's start. Do you know what nouns are? Fantastic! Here I have some pictures. What nouns can you see in the pictures? Excellent! And what of those nouns are in singular? Good! And which ones are in plural? Wow! Great job! Now, let's start to learn and talk about nouns. Let's go! A noun can refer to one or more than one person, animal, place, or thing. A noun that names one person, place, animal, or thing is called singular noun. For example, one boy, one cat, one house, one flower. You see, solo one noun at a time. A noun that names more than one person, place, animal, or thing is called plural noun. For example, three boys, four cats, five houses. Pueden observar en las imágenes que ya no solo hay uno, sino que varios nouns. Nouns can be singular or plural. Pueden ir de uno a varios. For regular nouns that end in ch, S H O S double S X and Z we add ES to get their plural form. Aquí tenemos el ejemplo de boss in singular and bosses in plural. Look the example in singular. The boss is at the school. Ahora en plural, the buses are at school. Como ven, bus termina en S. Entonces solo le agregamos ES según la regla. Regular noun that end in F or FE, we change F for V and add ES para el plural. For example, Live in singular, lives in plural. Look at this example in singular. The leaf smells good. Ahora en plural. The leaves smell good. Como live en singular termina en F, la F la cambiamos por V y la agregamos ES para el plural. En el caso de los regular noun that end in Y and are preceded by a vowel, we add S, for example, key in singular and keys for plural. Look at the example in singular. The key is yellow. Ahora en plural, the keys are yellow. Como key. Termina en Y antecedida por una vocal, solo le agregamos S. Irregular nouns that end in Y preceded by a consonant, we change Y by an I and add ES. 
For example, baby in singular and babies in plural. The first sentence in singular, she is a beautiful baby. Now in plural, they are curious babies. Como pueden ver, el noun baby termina en Y antecedida por una consonante. Entonces, cambiamos la Y por I y le agregamos S para hacerlo plural. Talking about irregular nouns that change some inside vowels. For example, man in singular and man in plural. Mira las oraciones. Primero en singular. The man has a bird. Ahora en plural. The man have bird. You see, we change the vowel A for the vowel E. También hay irregular nouns que la misma palabra es tanto para singular y para plural. Look the example. Ship for singular and ship for plural. Look the singular example for ship. The baby ship is cute. Ahora veamos el plural. The baby ship are cute. Aquí diferenciamos el singular del plural por el verb be y en este caso por las imágenes. Ok, it's time to practice. Vamos a leer una lectura en la cual ustedes van a identificar los nouns que se encuentran en ella. Les voy a dar una pista. Los nouns que hemos visto durante la clase se encuentran en la lectura. Ready? Let's go. Vamos a leer la lectura primero y después cuando terminemos de leerla, ustedes van a comentar los nouns que encontraron. A boy take the bus to go to school and back. And during the trip, he sees men playing football at the field near his house. He also, in the farm, sees trees with big leaves and colorful flowers, where there are a lot of animals, including cats, sheep, dogs, horses, and many others. When the boy is back home, he helps his mother taking care of the baby playing with her and her key toys. Ok, díganme qué nouns encontraron en la lectura. Wow, great. Veamos los nouns que están en la lectura. El primero que encontramos es boy. Very good. El segundo es bus. Great. El tercero es man. El cuarto es house. El quinto es leaves. El sexto es flowers. El séptimo es Cats. Y el que le sigue es Ship. Y aparece de nuevo Boy. Después está Baby. Y la última es Key. Well done. Ahora quiero que me digan cuál de los que estamos observando están en singular. Good job. Y los que están en plural, ¿cuáles son? Wow, you did it great. Let's see if you can match the singular noun with the correct plural form. Ready? Let's start. Here we have cajas. Caja en inglés es box. How do you think is the plural form of box? Será boxes, boxes, or box? Very good. The answer is boxes. 
because when the noun ends in X, we add ES. In this picture, we have lobos. Lobo in English is wolf. What do you think is the plural form of wolf? Wolfes, wolves, or wolves? Great! The correct answer is wolves, porque termina en F, entonces cambiamos la F por V y agregamos ES. Ok, tenemos burritos here. Can you tell me how do we say burro in English? Good, we say donkey. And how do you think is burros in English? Donkeys, donkeys, or donkeys. Fantastic is donkeys. Porque termina en Y antecedida por vocal, entonces solo le agregamos S. Here we have a map of the world con los países. ¿Cómo decimos país en English? Good. We say country. And how do we say países in English? Countries, countries, or countries. Great. We say countries in English porque termina en Y antecedida por una consonante. Entonces cambiamos la Y por I y agregamos ES. What are they? Very good. Son personas. And how do we say personas in English? Personas, persons, or people. Great. Personas in English is people. Is an irregular noun porque cambió la palabra. And this is the last one. What can you see in the picture? Good. They are serious. How do you think we say serious in English in plural? Serious, serious, serious. Fantastic. We say serious, ya que es un irregular noun y no cambia. Great job. Knowledge is for sharing. And it was a pleasure for me to share it with you. Never stop learning. Recuerda compartir el conocimiento aprendido. Ese es su propósito. You did a great job. Claps for you. Students, it's time to say goodbye. I hope you like it. I am Miss Garcia. See you next time.